Now I want to get to my feature interview tonight with the great Australian singer-songwriter John Williamson, the bloke who, along with John Schumann, led the way in singing Aussie songs in an Aussie accent. Williamson is back on the road, playing and touring, and when he dropped by, we reminisced about our last catch-up three years ago at the height of the COVID lockdowns and border closures, a situation he was lamenting then with his new song at the time, The Great Divide. Yeah, it was a very hard one entertainers, of course, because we, you know, I'm all around the country all the time. So, uh, so I had to write a song about it. it. Was and I guess it made us realise how lucky we are to have the freedom to go over such a big area without passports and all the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, so I, the Great Divide it worked very well for me. We got locked down a lot more after that, sadly, but uh, the same theme came through. But I remember talking to you then, and you had this great word that you'd. Uh, that you'd uh, coined called statriotic. Uh, yeah. Instead of being patriotic, we'd all started to put our states first. Yeah. It, it was a bad time. Yeah, I tried to get the Macquarie Dictionary to, to adopt it because I think it's a good word for that, you know. You, you get a lot of that, you know. Um, I, I'm very much in for us all being Aussies, you know. I'm, I'm an East Aussie. I'm born in Victoria. My career was developed in New South. And I'll probably end up retiring in Queensland. So. Yeah, you told me before, you barrack for the Broncos, but you support the Blues, and yeah. you're an Essendon Bombers fan too. So you got it all covered up the yeah, Eastern Coast. Cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it break your heart? Did it shake your confidence in the country at all to see the way we divided up, closed state borders and families torn apart? And as you say, entertainers not being able to travel the country? Yeah, it was very hard on us, I think. And... Uh, it seemed to me the Premiers loved the idea because it's almost like they would love to be their own countries. I could see that happening, you know. Old Joe tried to start that years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm very much in for, you know, for, for no borders, really. Did we learn anything good or bad about ourselves through that period? Uh, well, I just think mainly we learnt that, um, how lucky we are to have the freedom we've got, you know, in this country to, uh, to be able to travel so far, you know. But I think the character, especially in the bush, that, that'll never change. You know, like if a bloke has a, a, a bad year and can't harvest his crop, all the neighbours will come in and bring their headers in and do it for them. That's, that's still there. That's true, Blue, you know. You must be so happy that you can get out and about and tour again. You've been doing it for over 50 years now, but after being locked down a bit during COVID, you're, you're back on the road. Yeah, I'm definitely back on the road, even after our smashed hand everyone wanted to know about. But... I smashed it and I couldn't play for five weeks, but it's come good. Nothing's been broken. Just a big rock fell on it, that's all. You're doing too much work around the got house. To, got to start wearing gloves. <laughs> call it the Great Divide, not talking about a range. Never in our nation's history has living been so strange. No sign of slowing down. You're still writing songs. It seems to yeah, be yeah. every every event that you talk about you've been through, you're, oh, I wrote a song about that. Had to write a song <laughs> about that. Yeah, well, I write write songs about things that matter to Australians, yeah, for sure. And, uh, um, but now I've got a... You know, I've got a... I've got one little... And I haven't released it called uh, Don't Let the Old Man In. But Don't Let the Old Man In is a good one for my age, you know, to think about that, you know. Don't let him in, yeah. You think Joe but Biden? I don't, I don't let him in. You don't let the old man in? You think Joe Biden's let the old man in? <laughs> I think he has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, you were going to sing for a song called Sidey. Sidey. Tell us Sidey. about that song and how you, you're kind of prescient in what you were singing about in this song. Yeah, well, Sidey is actually spelt C-Y-D-I, and it's, I'm very uh, proud that it's been used now for a lot of baby girls. They've christened their girl Sidey, but it's actually short for Sidekick. And um, I had a letter years ago, I like to tell this story on stage actually, the, uh, a letter from out western New South Wales about a lady who ran the farm and apparently her, back during the Second World War, her brothers went away and didn't come back and so she ended up being her dad's right hand man and now of course, uh, she's probably gone now too, it's been a while, but uh, she ran the farm so it occurred to me there's a lot of girls like that and uh, you, you and I were talking earlier that Things have changed for girls now. Since I wrote this song, I mentioned she used to kick the footy. And now you feel sorry for all those girls way back then who couldn't play footy, but now they're able to. So I was predicting something that happened not long after the song, so... She walks like her old man, <coughs> overactive and thin. 
She laughs at all the same things that make a father grin. She is only 15, no brothers in her clan. And her father calls her Sidey, his right-hand man. She can drive a tractor or curse a useless dog, shear a sheep, strain a fence or cut a nine-foot log. She was meant to be a boy that didn't go to plan. But her father loves his sidey, his right-hand man. But the boys in the town today are turning their heads. Is that really Sidey, that tomboy kid of Ted's? She used to kick the footy when every race we ran. Ted knew the world was changing for his right-hand man. You won't find her in the kitchen and she won't make a bed. She'd rather make a sheep crate with the welder in the shed or just be out there in the bush doing what she can. Just being with her father, his right hand man. And her mother takes her shopping, it's time she bought a dress. Looking in the mirror, not bad she must confess. But I'd rather have that pair of jeans and boots if I can. She's still a father's sidey, his right hand man. But the boys in the town today are turning their heads. Is that really sidey, that tomboy kid of Ted's? She used to kick the footy when every race we ran. Ted knew the world was changing for his right hand man. Yeah, father loves his sidey, his right hand man. Beautiful stuff, John. Bravo. Uh, I've, uh, I have a sister and nieces and cousins who resemble that song uh, <laughs> uh, in, in South Australia on the land. Absolutely. Great to see you out in the road again. Uh, how much are you looking forward to keeping doing this for the next few years? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'll keep doing it while I can do it as well as I want to, you know, as, as I think I should. You know, I don't want to let people down, so if the arthritis doesn't take over and the memory doesn't take over... <laughs> Well, look, the, the, your concerts are still selling out. We'll tell people about where they can still get tickets, but uh, it's fantastic that you're still so successful and we hope you drop in again sometime. Anytime, Chris. Thank you.